video, I'm going to show you how to create your own travel watercolor sets. This watercolor palette you'll be able to take anywhere because all of the paint is dry and all you need to do to get it to work for you is to use a water brush by just placing a little bit of water from your water brush onto the surface of these peerless watercolors you can create liquid paint and create beautiful paintings on the go anywhere so let's get started and i'll show you how to do it so first of all the product i'm working with is nicholson's peerless watercolors these have been handmade since 1885 and what's special about it is that these are all natural mineral dye loaded onto sheets of paper it's really intense concentrated color and this bonus pack that i'm working with came with 40 colors and i cut them in half so the book that you see me make today is just one of two books that i could make for the price that i paid for this bonus pack of the papers now when you begin you're going to need two sheets of 9 by 12 inch watercolor paper and then you're going to need some clear acetate you could use overhead projector paper or really any kind of see-through paper i'm using three sheets of that and i cut it to 9 by 12 inches as well now to get started i'm going to teach you a really basic stitch and we're going to bind the book together using that stitch it's going to be a pamphlet stitch and um, i plan on having 10 colors per page in my book so i use a ruler and just space it out so that i know where each color is going to be so the pamphlet stitch that I'm gonna use is just a simple basic three hole stitch. This is the easiest stitch possible. Feel free to do something more complex if you want. So I poke three holes through the two sheets of paper. Okay, one in the middle and then, you know, one on either side. Now using string, I'm going to feed the string in, and I'm using like a twine here. I'm going to feed it in through the center hole and allow a string to hang out at the edge. And the, the string should hang out on the outside. Then feed the string through one of the next holes so that now your needle comes through the outside edge. Skip the middle hole and bring the string back through towards the inside of the book through the other unused hole. Now feed your needle back through the middle hole so that you have both ends out on the outside. Now you're going to tie a knot and when you tie your knot make sure that one piece of your string or thread is on either side of that center binding string. This will just help to keep your book bound tightly and it won't allow for the knot to come through the hole if you pull it too tight. Now that your book is bound together, we can begin to tape in the acetate. So I'm gonna use some washi tape for this, but first I just wanna show you where the acetate is going to go. So I'm placing one in front of each of the pages that will have the colored watercolor papers on it. So one in the middle of the book and then one inside the front cover, one inside the back cover. You can tape your acetate in with any kind of tape you want. I like using washi tape because it is removable, so if you make a mistake, it's easy to fix. So I'll slow this down for you and show you how I do this. I'm going to put washi tape so that it's half on the acetate and half on the other page of watercolor paper. And then I fold the acetate over and I'm going to put washi tape on the back side as well. So again, it's half on the acetate, half on the watercolor paper, and then I just trim it with scissors to make it nice and neat. Now I'm ready to attach in my Peerless watercolor papers, and I do this using double-sided tape. First, I just put the double-sided tape in each of the boxes that I created with pencil. Remember, for mine, I am using 10 colors for each page, so I have two columns of five. 
and then I place on the paints. Now, something you need to know is that there is paint on one side of each of these peerless papers, and on the back side, it shows what the color should look like when painted. Of course, since we're taping them down, we can't see the back anymore. So what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of water from a water brush and actually paint a sample of each of these colors. And as I paint the sample, I try to do a simple fade from dark to light just so that I can see what variation of values each color can achieve. As you can see, what you see is not what you get in terms of color. Some of the colors appear much different on the peerless paper than they actually appear when you paint with them. I kept my paints in the order that they came in and I felt like this gave me a pretty good rainbow kind of assortment and it makes it very easy to find the colors that I'm looking for when I paint with it. Here is my finished book. You can see how the acetate between the pages really is going to help keep this book nice and clean. And since I created it using watercolor paper, I can now decorate the cover and make it my own. All right, so just checking back in with everyone, I want you to know I've now worked with these Peerless paints for a couple days now. Here I'm working on just a little fun painting in my sketchbook, and I just want you to see how easy it is to work with these. I have had so much fun with this because I can just keep this little booklet or palette out on my desk with my water brush, and I don't need anything else. It's so mess-free, I could pop this into a purse or a bag and take it anywhere and the colors are just so vibrant. It is actually, it's like easier than working with markers to work with these paints. I'm loving it. So if you're curious to see what else I do with this painting here, go ahead and watch. I'll speed it up and just let you watch me finish it. And again, if you're interested in making your own booklet like mine, check out the description of this video and I'll place a link to the exact bonus pack of Peerless Paints that I purchased off Amazon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope that you get out there and make one of these palettes as well. I guarantee you will not be disappointed.